Hello, uh, my name is Lee Dukes and I'm a doctoral student at George Washington University's Graduate School of Education and Human Development. So this is a preliminary research poster. It looks at how we can diversify the K through 12 space by improving teacher preparation programs and teacher recruitment strategies. So the Office of the State Superintendent of Education, also known as OSSI, has brought to light the issue of there being a lack of racially and ethnically diverse teachers in the classroom. Uh, this is birthed out of the research of Per George et al. and Lindsay and Hart, who found that all students benefited uh, from being taught by diverse teaching staff. This is imperative to know uh, because the National Center for Education Statistics um, uh, alerted us that uh, the field is currently 79% white. Uh, this is not something that can be uh, easily solved, and it doesn't have a lot of obvious answers or solutions. But that's because there are many barriers that exist institutionally and culturally that make it difficult for teachers of color to move and navigate uh, their way into the classroom. See, universities tend to sell this idea of multiculturalism as a means of actually recruiting students into their campuses, but ignore the role of socialization and the elusive idea of this hidden curriculum that was uh, noted by Margulies. Uh, this type of kind of faux meritocracy as to this notion of colorblind racism. Students are being accepted into these programs regardless of their race, but they lack things like cultural capital uh, in order to thrive in these highly exclusionary environments. So on top of having to navigate the socio-political landscape of university life, so there's this hurdle uh, of being a licensed educator. It's this thing called the Praxis Series. Um, and it's touted itself as being a way in which you can identify who should and who should not be in the classroom. Um, but it's been noted as having some sort of racial bias, especially when it comes to black and brown students. So the fundamental question is, why do we even care and what can we do? Uh, student outcomes are tied to teachers. So the more underdeveloped teachers we have uh, and the more high vacancies that we have, the more students actually suffer. And thus communities suffer on that part too. See, this trend is usually present in districts who have a high minority majority population and also students who are facing poverty. So this lack of training uh, impacts novice teachers, right? So they have a lower self-concept, which causes a lot of negative emotions, which can in fact cause them to have poor uh, experiences with admin and also their students. So to mitigate some of these cir uh, circumstances that we're actually involved in, we need to start uh, with authentic community partnerships. So this means taking the K through 12 space and connecting it with community colleges, two-year institutions and four-year institutions uh, and universities. So this way we create a teacher pipeline. So maybe a student expresses a desire to be an educator. So we pair them with a student teacher who's paired with a full-time teacher of record and they are being advised at the same time by an instructor in teacher preparation at a local university, right? So this type of mentorship is very important. It also creates authentic relationships, which impacts who stays and who goes in the field of teaching. And another idea is to do away with the Praxis series as the only standard of being able to be licensed, right? And this is because of that racial bias, but also because the test is costly. Um, last time I checked the Praxis Core Series is about $150 uh, each time you have to take it. So let's say you don't pass the math, which happens to be one of the most failed sections, right? That's $150 each time, right? So it's costly to retest. And finally, and this is a very, very important thing to note, it is very important that faculty reflect our expectations of having a uh, diverse racial and ethnic uh, teaching staff, right? If your teacher trainers aren't 
diverse, then how can you expect your uh, teaching staff to be diverse in nature? Um, so this can impact student outcomes, um, impact policy, and it can also impact the communities in which we serve. So if you all have any questions or any feedback, uh, my contact information is below. Um, and I hope to see you all in person one day. All right. Thank you.